My name is Ivan and I'm one of the uh, training engineers here at uh, Australian Control of Engineering. Recently I've been involved in sort of working with a project uh, commissioned to us by a uh, close client of ours. We have recently sort of completed uh, testing for the project. That would have involved sort of the point-to-point -point testing in all of our PLC configuration as well as the SCADA configuration. And that pretty much involves sort of testing each and single variable that we've defined in, in our uh, configuration and really testing uh, to see if we're getting the right values from say the PLC and getting it correctly reflected into the SCADA system and sort of making sure everything is addressed correctly and accurately and the, the scaling and the units of the uh, values that we're getting in the SCADA system are within the specifications that the client has provided at the beginning of the project. The other bit of testing that we've also conducted was um, is something we call function testing, where we essentially just look at the plant process as a whole and then conducting tests uh, based on these test cases that we formulate based on the functional description. So instead of um, testing each of an individual variable that we define in PLC and the SCADA system, um, we sort of look at the plan in its entirety, so different little steps and states in the process instead of actual individual points. Um, for example, sort of how things are pumped from one station to the other based on different parameters. So it really sort of considers um, different interlocks, parameters, and all these things combining into a single thing to execute the process correctly and safely as well. So program debugging was definitely one of the more challenging aspects of this stage of the development where uh, since we've been simulating the project in a, in a simulated uh, instance in, in program and software, it was definitely challenging to sort of keep track of all these small parameters throughout the plan. So different interlocks and emissives gets quite complex as we go further into the, the plan processing. Uh, and the parameters like uh, the instrumentation values, for example, and different states that pumps up, we sort of have to simulate them by hand as well, whereas compared to say on site where uh, different things are already there and so you already have for example, left tank levels already are already so reconfigured, whereas in a in a simulated environment, what we have to keep track of each and an individual one to sort of execute the processes as with within the limits of the permissives and the interlocks that were specified within the client specifications. So I guess the challenge in that was just keeping track of this massive database that's involved in the project and really, yeah, the, com the complexity of it really is quite, quite challenging, but, but by just having sort of a system, systematic approach to the problems, and t tackling each problem bit by bit, we eventually are able to sort of resolve these small bugs in the programming and eventually deliver a quality, quality process program. So factory testing not only lets us know that our program works as intended, but also lets us um, iron out all the little bugs and issues that might not have intentionally put in, but at the same time also allow us to question some of the uh, control philosophy that the client may have overlooked on their control specification. So that would that could maybe involve sort of inefficiencies in the processes. Uh, things that could impact the lifespan of the equipment, for example, and more importantly as well is control philosophies that could actually hinder um, personal safety that, that are working within site. So in such cases, we, we will raise them with the client and try to sort of discuss or work around to resolve the, these issues that we identify. And this not only helps sort of the end user, but also make sure that 
our clients also get sort of the most out of their um, assets and uh, save resources down the line uh, at, the, at maybe the end of the project or at the end of the lifespan of a 